This is by far the biggest achievement I've got, and I'm not talking about the scroll. If you are someone who plays a lot of Skyblock, you are aware that one of the most powerful and useful weapons is the Hyperion. This weapon is crafted using a Necron's handle, 24 Wither Catalyst, and 8 Laser Eyes. All of these ingredients don't look like a lot, but the Necron's handle has a 0.1% chance to drop at the end of the Dungeon's Floor 7 run. 0.1% chance, that is 1 in 1000 runs, and each run takes an average of 5 to 10 minutes depending on your party. That is almost 10,000 minutes, but it doesn't end here. For the Hyperion to be powerful, it requires 3 different scrolls dropped from the same floor, and each of these has a 0.13% chance to drop. Yeah, that is very rare. So why not just grind the money and buy the Hyperion? Well, I can't. In this Dungeon Man series, I am limited to using items obtained in dungeons only. Therefore, this is a huge achievement. Alright, you know what this means. I can finally put this on the Hyperion. This is it. This is the moment. And there you have it. Teleport 10 blocks ahead of you. Implode dealing damage to nearby enemies. And the most important one for me, which I will need for Master Mode is, applies the Wither Shield scroll ability, reducing damage taken and granting an absorption shield. <sighs> we have come so far, and it's finally here. We're done. How many runs have we taken for all of that? So we dropped one handle, I think three shadow warps, one implosion, and one Wither Shield. All in 669 runs. Let's go. Now we just throw this Felthorn in here and let's go and test it out all right boys this is it we have become a mage well for a bit because we're gonna go to master mode but look at that this is actually huge we are gonna switch to sighted right here the thing is we're still using the baby yet we haven't unlocked the sheep pet or even a blue whale which is good for mages but it's okay i will only be doing few runs as a mage and then we can test out master mode so let's head into the dungeon hub i have never used that portal before switch class mage if i haven't thrown before i'm definitely throwing now we've basically achieved the impossible i've attempted to do this doing my drops only series which is a similar series to this one but we've never actually dropped all scrolls this is the highest we've progressed and it's been over a year what if i accidentally drop a handle now i don't need anything from floor 7 so if i drop a handle let's you know money let's go my a key doesn't work I you can't oh my god of course something breaks when everything goes well oh my god and i'm lagging i can't even enjoy this game oh yeah i was wondering why i didn't feel like myself it's because i have no speed i have so little speed it's actually crazy all right here we go there's two people going for that same crystal my a key is actually broken <laughs> i just cannot press a let's go should we just re-roll anyway we have one more kesmet feather all right let's do it Oh, I saw a book. I got excited, but with my A key not working, it feels like I'm doing a challenge, honestly. <laughs> it's so weird. Wait, I typed my A key doesn't work and then it works when I don't want it to work. I can't, I can't, well, uh, uh, I have to move around with the Hyperion. It's like the no legs challenge. What's the meta for mage? When do I actually thunderstorm here? I could do it in the second room, in this clearing room, I suppose. Actually, if you look at my effective HP, I'm at 650k. Or 700k, I guess you could say. So it's not the lowest, but it's not the safest. Oh, I don't have my Thunderstorm. Then I just use it in this room, right? Maybe I shouldn't have Thunderstorm then. Alright, well, this is it. I'm done. Let's get to Master Mode. Come on, let me leave! I can't type A! Okay, now it's working again. We enter the world of Master Mode now. Actually, been so long. Oh, I can't even check my RNG meter. Wait, I actually have to defeat them. Okay, well... Let's go defeat Bonzo for the 50th time. There we go. I just need to remember, now that I'm in master mode, the main thing I need to do is ice spray bosses. Like this one, let's see. So we just ice spray and then we kill. Yeah, there you go, easy. Well, this is M1. They definitely don't die easily. Oh! Ow. I keep forgetting Bonzo is actually stronger than M1. Well, stronger, not strong. There you go. Oh, red nose. Is this... Oh, no, it's not. It's not good. Oh, balloon. Nice. Okay, now I have to get M2. Surely someone is doing M2. Another yellow. This time it's M2. Eh, yeah, it's pretty easy. All right, cool. Oh, I don't even know what happened there. Wait. He's not even damaging him. I don't think he realizes. 
He's flying towards you slowly. Oh, and he's oh, he dead. Yeah, maybe this is not the party. I just want one completion. Why is he following me? Just die. Nice. Okay. All right, I'm done. I think... Oh, yeah, we have enough hot potato books. Oh, we need more, though. Didn't think I would, but I guess I do. I completely forgot about the golden heads. Because we need so many of them. You know what? I won't even put human books on the professor one for now. But we do have precursor, which we have a lot of. So we should be fine with that. There you go. Okay. Let's head to chapter two of the grind. Master stars. We need as many as possible. I believe we need like Hyperion for the Terminator, for the full set armor, which is one, two, three, and then maybe also the helmets. So let's just say we need six. I'm just gonna say we need six. Or maybe you can say seven. I don't know, we'll see. Hello, Shadow Assassin. These things are actually scary in Master Mode. Oh, Shadow Assassin. Oh, I fell. That was awkward. And he fell with me. I can't believe I'm back to this grind. I maxed it on my main and I thought I'll never touch it again, but here we go again. Yeah, we're actually doing a decent amount of damage there. No, we aren't. New PB. Imagine I just get the star in the first run. Would have been cool. What can I drop? Tier 3s? Oh, these are, these are good. These are good. Recoms are... They're not even considered rare in here. Adaptive helmets. Stars are rare. Ultimate Jerry is rare? Alright, cool. Ouch, that was painful. Okay, they do so much. I'm so used to like jumping around in F7. Superior? Not so superior, is he? Oh yeah, let me actually do this. I need to select the star, just so I can actually get it. Ooh, the best part, come here. Yes, never gets old. How much does Skeletor do? Oh, he missed. Are you serious? I'm literally letting you hit me. What? Okay, well, that did not work. Oh, my bone plating reduced the damage. Oh, I see. Bruh. I'm just too good, I guess. I think I'm overprepared for this. Because I should have been in master mode. Uh, we should probably not talk about that. And I just jinxed it so bad. Should we try again or are we going to die? Come on. Oh, he has so much HP. Oh, we did it. Okay. Why is bro wearing Soro armor? Does he think it increases the chance? Oh, tier three. Let's go. Maybe it increased my chance, cause easy. I've done ice fill. Oh my God, I love lag. I've done ice fill now three dungeons in a row. I guess we just put this in our accessory, right? I'm not gonna recomb it just because we might drop a tier four. I believe that is dropped from M4. If we don't, then we can just recomb it. Okay, this is getting annoying. Where are my drops? Am I actually gonna get the RNG meter? Oh, it's only 27%. I thought it'd be higher. It's 3% chance though, come on. Oh no. I knew it. As soon as I entered this room, I knew it. M3 yellow rooms are not it yet. It is early in the run, so we don't have that many blessings. But still, it's so much harder. Well, it's not really hard. Kind of. I mean, I don't one-shot them. But still, I mean, they easily die. Did they do damage? Uh, not really. Oh, excuse me. Can't you let me die in peace? Wait, boots actually are profit now. By the way, I updated my mod. Now you can see I added colors and I also added master mode. Took me like two days to make, but I think it's worth it. Oh no, here we go again. Oh, <laughs> why did I gyro him right in front of my face? You know what? I need to start being more safe. Way more safe than I was used to. Because I could do that easily on my main, but here it's just like, they two-shot you. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. First star. I have done 27 runs. Not bad. Oh, we should probably apply it, actually. Why did I go in? Where should I apply it, though? I would say the Terminator, right? Oh, tier three. We need, like, two more of those. So we need to apply the Terminator with the first star. Cool. This will give us 5% more damage. There you go. Huh? I just spawned dead. <laughs> what? It didn't even say I died. Oh, last tier three. There you go, tier four. Cool. Actually, let me just recomp it. Recomp is very cheap right now for me. There you go, tier four. Hey, number two. Wait, why did I get so excited for that? It's just a star. All right, let's put it on the star here. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Let's put it on the Necron. Oh my God. I spent more money on XP bottles than anything. There you go. Round two. 
I don't know why I'm doing circles around him. It's just a skill. Why did I ult? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't ult. That was stupid. He was 17 mil. Yeah, I would have ult killed him if I would have killed him if I ulted. My punishment is to do this puzzle right here. What is it? Oh, easy. Okay, try number two. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 he TP'd. Why did he TP twice? He TP'd twice, man. <sighs> Why do I only skill issue against Yellow Room? I'm getting a lot of recoms from this. And it says it's two mil profit, so... At least I'm making some money back. Even though I don't really sell the recoms. <laughs> oh, that's the first helmet I've gotten. It's, uh... Yeah, 52 as well. Wow. <laughs> it's gonna be a while before we can afford the E-Drag. How much is it, anyway? An E-Drag is 20k. Oh, wow. It should probably be lowered, actually. Over, like, 2,000 runs just to get it. Oh, no. What? Skeletor! A Skeletor! I'm being ambushed. Ah. <sighs> That was painful. Ooh, chest plate. Is that worth something? Uh, yes. Wait, that's a lot, actually. It's at 83%, and it's 6.4% chance to drop, and I still haven't gotten a star. I have, like, the worst star chances on M3. Even on my main, I had horrible M3 chances. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's uh, probably not from the uh, RNG meter, but very close. Probably at, like, 95%. So in this boss room, currently I have... 930k effective HP. Uh, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't matter how much you have in the boss room because, you know, you probably don't take damage. But during clear, getting around like 900k is very decent. Also, I don't have an E-Drag, so I'm using a Baby Yeti. So that's why I have so much effective HP here. If we get like a Diamond Head and then we get like maybe 3 star, so we'll get like from M4 and then M5 stars, I believe then we can do M6. Oh, Helmet, nice. Yeah, M6 is not gonna be terrifying i don't think i'll just play healer <laughs> i'll just go easy route in the beginning just to get some levels and then i'll probably do something ah yes let me find the fairies how can i find this i'm gonna say i have no idea where it is oh found it you know one thing i've noticed a lot about m3 so far is the clears are actually worse than f7 which doesn't make sense because this is a higher floor right a lot of people just go around and clear very slowly which makes sense i mean you're fighting hard mobs but but the biggest issue which is a problem i've seen a lot that happens is that they do secrets before clear which is so 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 bad like you should definitely at least finish your split the only time i say you do the secret is when you clear the whole split so as you can see right here i finished my whole split i've cleared like four or five rooms so what i do is just do the secrets here because if I teleport to anyone else, I'm just taking away their split. Oh, getting very close. The big 40. Oh, star. Let's put it on the boots, which is the last piece on the armor we can put. I'm not going to put it on the helmet, of course, because we're going to be switching to M4 soon. And I really hate M4, so that's going to be fun. There you have it. One thing I wanted to mention last episode was, what am I going to do about gemstones? Because obviously, now that we're in master mode, it's a very important thing. So, every bit of damage matters here. Yeah, how much should I be selling the gemstones? Like what, like 1k essence for epic maybe? And then 3k essence for legendary? Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe each different type, like maybe Jasper or something, and then I don't know, I forgot all the gemstones. You know what I mean. Now the last one I need is for the Hyperion. I think I also leveled up. Yes, Kata 40. Great. That means I'm gonna get my MP up, my magical power, which will increase my stats by a lot. But I'll do that after I get the last star. Wait, 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 wait. Can I make it to this other side? How did I miss? Easy. Watch this. What? Okay, why am I missing? I swear I'm not this bad. Oh, wait, that, you can easily make that. Chest plate? Okay. We are reaching the dry point so far. It's been a bit dry. I haven't really dropped anything. I'm not a big fan of M3. Not gonna lie. It's mostly just doing puzzles and trap room because the maps are so small. But yeah. Oh, Midas Jewel. I used to be worth so much money back in the day. Wait, is this a new feature? When you're holding the bow, you can actually see how many quiver arrows you have. What? What's happening? What? I think that's a star in a half a chest. What's happening? I'm scared to open this. <laughs> what is this? That is the buggiest chest I've ever seen in my life. What is that? <laughs> and then we just put this on the Hyperion. 
done. I believe I have finished everything. I don't need to put any more, but I do want to get an extra one because I kind of want to put a uh, first star on the livid head when I get there. It's also good to have an extra just in case I need it. So we'll get one more, one more. Wait, is that it? Three tier fours here. And then I believe there's like one more in here. We're already on tier five. That was really fast. There you go. Chest plate. Still no star. Star! It's invisible again. Are you kidding me? I thought I was lagging. Well, we got the last star at least. On to M4.